Pete, look at those bubbles. All right, it's my turn to blow. <gasps> Pete, it's so much fun to blow bubbles in the summertime, isn't it? Woo! Oh, hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to St. George Dragon Summer Camp. So good to see you. <gasps> We're outside having so much fun with bubbles. Bubbles are one of my favorite things to do outside in the summer. Oh, whoa. This is a bubble wand. It really has a lot of fun bubbles. <laughs> well, Pete and I have been sitting outside. It's beautiful out today. What, Pete? Oh, Pete thinks it would be fun to read a story. What do you think? All right, I'll put our bubbles down for now. Let's take a look at what book we have today. Oh, are you kidding me? Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Are you ready for this, Pete? All right, how about you, boys and girls? Are you ready for a little Pete the Cat? Me too. This Pete the Cat book is written by Eric Litwin, and the art is by James Dean. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, you can tell it's going to be fun already. Look at all those buttons. Pete the cat and his four groovy buttons. Get ready, get set, go. Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much. He sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. And you can see the number four right there. Pop! Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are there now? There were four buttons and one popped off. Now how many are there? That's right! Three! Four minus one equals three. One, two, three. Did Pete cry? Goodness no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are there now? You know it. Two. Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. You can join in with me. You know this song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. <gasps> Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Remember Pete had two buttons? One button rolled away, so now how many buttons are there? You're right! One! Two minus one equals one. Or you could say two take away one equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. Are you ready? My buttons, my buttons, my one groovy button. 
my buttons, my buttons, my one groovy button. <gasps> Pop! Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left now? There was one button and it popped off and rolled away. How many does that make now? You know it. Zero. One take away one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he said? He doesn't have any more buttons on his shirt, does he? <gasps> what do you think he saw? His belly button! What? His belly button, right? He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. And here's Pete saying, it's all good. Right? I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep on singing. Buttons come and buttons go. The end. What a great book. This is one of my favorite books, and I know you love it too. I think it's got a great lesson in there for all of us, right? Stuff may come and stuff may go, right? But do we cry about it? Goodness, no. We just keep on singing, right? We keep on singing our song. We put a smile on our face and we keep on going, right? That's what life is all about. Keep on going. What a fun book. And Pete is one of my favorite characters. And I know you love Pete too. And guess what? We have a fun science experiment today. You know it. My daughter, Nora, is a pro when it comes to this science experiment. And I'll tell you what it is. Nora is going to show you how to make slime today. You're going to have so much fun with slime. It's kind of like Play-Doh, but a little slimier. It's so fun to play with, and you can grab the slime and stretch it and pound it and put all kinds of amazing things in the slime. And just wait until you see what kind of special slime Nora made for us today. Shh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'll let it be a surprise. All right, here comes Nora. Have fun with the slime. Hi there, boys and girls. I'm here with my friend Pete the Cat making slime today. I made a nice bright yellow slime with buttons in it. The yellow is to match Pete's coat, and the buttons are because Pete has buttons. Do you want to help me out and help me count the buttons and see what colors they are when I pull them out of the slime? Awesome! Let's see here. The slime is really sticky, so you might need to bounce it off the slime a few times to get the pieces of slime off the button so you can see what color it is. Here we go. What color is this button? That's right, it's blue. Let's look for another. Oop, I found one. Let's see, I'm going to bounce it off the slime. Awesome. What color is this button? Pink. Awesome. I wonder how many buttons we have now. Let's count them. One, two. Two buttons. Great job. Hmm. 
I might do a couple more. Let's see. What color is this button? Let's see. Let's get the slime off of it. I like this color. What color is this button? Black, right. How many buttons do we have now? Let's count. One, two, three buttons. Okay. Ooh, this one looks fun. Get the slime off of it. What color is this button? You're right, it's green. Okay. We have quite a few buttons now. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four buttons. How about we stop there, because that's how many buttons Pete has. Okay, I can use the slime now to pick up the buttons, because the slime is super sticky. And I'll put this off to the side in an airtight container so I can play with it later. want me to teach you how to make your own fun slime to play with? So you're going to need a bowl and a mixing spoon or spatula. And looky here, I have some fun ingredients. Five fluid ounces of Elmer's glue, half a tablespoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of contact solution, and you can do a bunch of your fun, own, creative add-ins. Look at me, I have some fun foam balls, some glitter, I really like glitter, confetti, that's fun, some pom-poms, that would probably make a really cool texture, and like I showed you, I put in some buttons earlier. And, if you want to have a Play-Doh-like consistency, you can add some Model Magic. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is add five fluid ounces of our Elmer's glue into the bowl. You unscrew the lid, and you can just dump the glue into the bowl. There we go. Might drip out a little aside. You have to be pretty careful. Glue is pretty sticky. Okay, so now we have the glue in the bowl. And the next thing we can do is look for a color. So you can use food coloring like I have set up over here with my friend Pete over here. Hmm. You know what? Looking at Pete right now, I think I might do a blue slime. That looks good. So I'm going to take the cap off and add two or three drops of blue food coloring into my Elmer's glue. How fun is that? Okay. Next, I'll show you the food coloring. There we go. Hmm, what's next on our list? It looks like we do half a tablespoon of baking soda. I have some baking soda right here. And I'm gonna get some measuring spoons. Here's half a tablespoon. Baking soda is very powdery, so you have to make sure it doesn't spill anywhere. I like to use the top of the lid of my baking soda to make sure it's exactly half a tablespoon by evening out the top layer. And then I just pour that in. Okay, our next step is to add some contact solution. You might see your parents using this sometimes. So we need one tablespoon of contact solution. So I'll pour some in here. 
it might take a while to come out because it comes out of a really small nozzle there. It's pretty fun to squirt out though. Kind of like a water water sprayer. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to add that to our slime mixture. Fun. That was a fun noise too. <laughs> Okay, now we can put that to the side. And now we're going to use our mixing tool, either a spoon or a spatula, and we're going to mix that all together. Wow, doesn't that blue look really pretty? You're going to need to be pretty patient mixing this all together. It takes a while for it to activate with the contact solution to make the glue less sticky. While you're mixing, you might want to sing a little song, like the Pete the Cat song you learned earlier. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Hmm, while I'm mixing, I better think about what toppings I'm going to put in. Hmm, those foam beads look kind of cool. I might do those. I did buttons earlier, so I might not want to do buttons right now. If you wanted to make the Pete the Cat slime, you would have used the yellow food coloring, which is right here. And then you would have used the button add-in. Okay, now that it's kind of coming together a little, sticking to the spoon a little less. I'm going to try to see with my finger. Ooh, it's still a little sticky, as you can see, it's sticking my finger. I'm going to add a little more contact lens solution. You can do that too. If yours is a little too sticky, which a lot of the times it can be sticky because glue is sticky. So you can add in more contact solution as you need it. There we go. Seems to be getting a little less sticky. I really like that color blue. How about you guys? It's really pretty. It reminds me of the sky. Okay, so it's getting a little less sticky to test to see if it's sticky still. You can just poke it with your finger. And if it sticks to your finger like that, it might need a little more contact lens solution. So I'm going to add a little more of that. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, wow. It's really coming together, boys and girls. You know you have enough contact solution put in when you can see it coming off the sides of the bowls. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the slime with my hands just a little bit and I'm going to work it with my hands and add a little more contact solution in because it's still a little sticky. <laughs> See how the slime sticks to itself? It can get off any surface because it just sticks to itself. Nice. We run a really nice texture that's not too sticky so it doesn't stick to your hands like it's doing mine. Okay, I think we're getting there. It's really fun to play with. Even when it's sticky, it's fun to play with. Okay. Kind of looks like some chewing gum. That would be a really funny flavor of chewing gum. Might be blue raspberry or something. 
And we never eat it, though, because it's not chewing gum. <laughs> we never put it in our mouth. Add a little more contact lens solution. Ooh, I think that's the consistency I want there. See how it's stretchy, but not sticking to my hands as much anymore? I can use the slime to pick up the stuff left over on my hands, too, which is good. And your mom and dad will like that because it won't leave as much of a mess <laughs> if you know to pick it up with the other pieces of slime. Okay, so now I'm going to get back to the bowl. Try to get the rest of it out here. See how it just comes off the bowl nice and easy. Add it to here. Nice. You can get it off the table too because it sticks to itself. I'm gonna add a little more contact solution to it. You can make a little fingerprint and add the solution in the fingerprint so it doesn't spill anywhere. And then just knead it and fold it so the contact solution gets everywhere inside of it. Nice. This is feeling pretty good. You're going to have a lot of slime to play with. Ooh, that makes a fun sound, right? Add a little more contact solution. You never want it to be too sticky. It's easier to clean up with you the more contact solution you add. And see how the bowl is not leaving any residue there? It's coming off really easily there. That's how you know you added enough contact solution. <laughs> Very soon we're going to add some of our toppings in. Okay. It's not that bad to clean that out later. You can use your slime to pick up the rest of that. Okay, so now we have our finished slime base, nice and fun. You might want to leave it a little bit sticky like I did, just because when you put the add-ins in, they'll stick to the base better. Because the stickier your slime is, the more fun stuff you can put in it. Hmm, this is a hard decision. There's so many fun options here. I think I might do, hmm, these look fun. I'll do the foam beads. I'll sprinkle some of those in. And you can add however much you want. And I'll just fold those in here. Ooh, that looks fun. Wow, that feels cool too. It's a nice, fun texture. I think I'm going to add some more in. It's so sticky. And you can just fold those in there. And if you want foam beads that look like these, you can get them at the dollar store. I got them in white, but they come in a lot of different fun colors, too. I really like to keep my hands clean, so I use my slime a lot to grab the stuff from my hands. Just a few more beads, and I think we're going to have our finished product. <laughs> I like a lot of beads in my slime. How about you, boys and girls? Do you think you're going to put a lot of add-ins in your slime, or just a little? Do 
you think you're going to add more or less beads than I did? I added a lot. Okay, boys and girls, I think we're just about done here. How fun does that look? Really cool. You can do swirls with it. You can put it on your table and spread it out. Make fun noises. Poke your fingers in it. Stretch it like this. That's fun. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have so much fun making this slime like I did. Have a great day!